Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the DudeCast. This is episode 16, and um, <laughs> this might be probably the more fun uh, episodes that I've done in terms of, like, having fun, like, in making. Um, so, uh, today's episode, uh, once again, doing another tier list, um, but this time it's different, you know, because last time we did the MCU movies and all that. Uh, this time, this time it's going to be a little interesting because, um, this particular, I'm ranking my friend group, but like, it's not in the way that you'd think. So, so how I'm doing it is cause I've been wanting to do this for a while. Cause I'm like, you know what? This would be a very, this would be kind of a fun little thing to do on the podcast. This would just be fun. Um, and so how I have this set up is. Yeah, I'm ranking my friend group, but it's more than just that. It's more than just that. It's ranking how they would do in a scenario, okay? And so I was like, huh, okay, yeah, that sure, sure, okay, yeah, that, that'd be a very interesting idea to do. Um, only thing is, is that what kind of scenario are we talking here? And so... The scenario that I came up with was uh, zombie apocalypse. It's fucking stupid, I know. It's so so corny, uh, but I'm just doing this episode. This episode is just being done for fun. Like I don't care. Like this video is just for fun. Um, so basically, how I have it ranked is like I'm ranking everyone, including myself, by the way. Um, I'm ranking everyone based off how they would do survival wise. And when, and just, just for context. Okay. Just for context. Um, so the, the kind of zombie like apocalypse we're dealing with here is the, the walking dead kind of apocalypse, you know? Cause if this was like, say maybe, I don't know, say like world war Z <clears throat> or, uh, you know, like if this was world war Z, we'd, we'd be fucked. Like, not even the friend group, like, I think life in general would just be fucked if it was the World War Z, uh, or, like, I Am Legend kind of outbreak, you know, kind of like that. Uh, no. This is gonna be more like The Walking Dead, where, like, the zombies are slow as shit, and they're just dead. You know, they they can't run, they don't fucking sprint, or anything like that, they're just dead. And they're just mindless things that are just, like, uh, just wandering around, you know? Like that. This is how we would do in a scenario like this. Basically, how would my me and my friend group do survival wise in the walking in the walking dead, basically. Um <clears throat> let's see here. So in terms of ranking, how I have it set up is I have it set up two different ways. So one way is how would we could because I'm ranking everyone individually, right? So how that's going to work is I have it set up two, two different ways. So the first way is how would each of us do individually by ourselves, you know, like just out in the open on our own, you know, no friends, none of us, just one person, you know, Ugh, God. <laughs> shit. Wow. Excuse me. Um, I can feel another one coming too. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That was actually fucking disgusting. Oh my god, that was actually horrible. Okay, um, so yeah. <clears throat> uh, so how I have it set up is I have it set up two different ways, right? So I have it set up on how we would do alone versus how we would do in a group. And I'm ranking everyone individually on how they would do, how I think they would do in a scenario like this, myself included. Um, so I think <laughs> this is, this is so stupid. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to start off with alone, how everyone would do alone. And let's just start off in no particular order here. Uh, God, who, who to start off with, who to start off with. There's so many people. Um, I guess, I guess we'll, uh, <laughs> Let's start off with Kalen, I guess, or uh, Phase Kip, as he, as he, I don't, I don't know if I should call them by their real names or if I should just call them by like their, 
their gamer tag or like their profile name or whatever. Um, I think it'd be more funny if I just called them by their actual by their actual name. Um, Kalen. Uh, this one's fascinating. Uh, so how how do I think Kalen would do on his own? Honestly, I think Kalen. I think he'd actually do pretty decently. All right. I think he'd do all right on his own. I think. Um, and here, here's why. Cause keep in mind, uh, Kalen's a big guy, right? He's, he's got a lot of muscle on him and, uh, he's fast for, for as tall as he is. He's pretty fast. Um, is he is he the fastest one in the group? No, but I'd still say he's he's pretty fucking fast. He can easily like if he was getting like if he if he was getting chased by a, like a horde, I'd say he he would have a pretty damn good chance of outrunning like a whole horde, like outrunning a whole horde. Um that that is of course like if he didn't get like cut off or anything like that, like if he was in the middle of running and like one like got in his way and he wasn't see didn't see it coming or anything like that. Um, but in terms of how he would do on his, on his own, um, what do I think? I'm trying to think of like what he would do on his own. Like if I'm trying to put myself in this scenario where it's just him all alone, what would he do? Um, I think he would just like. I think he would just, like, go out, look for supplies, and, like, <clears throat> you know, I think he would, he would, he would get supplies. I don't think that would be the first thing he would do, though. I think the first thing he would do would be, uh, he would be, he would try to go out and, like, look for people that he cared about. Um, but I think if he didn't have any luck with that, he would, uh, I think he would just be like bouncing back and forth from like places to live. I think he would just be like, he would live in a certain spot for like a little bit. And then he, once he got tired of that place, he would just move on to the next. Um, and as for like handling himself, I think he can, you know, he's a pretty physical guy already, <laughs> like already. Um, I think he could handle himself pretty well. I, I'd say, I think he can handle himself pretty well. I'd say. Um. Uh, what are his faults though? What are his faults? He's got some faults. In in this scenario, um. Hmm. I'm trying to think, cause I, I don't want to sound. I'm not like trying to be a dick or anything. Like I'm just, I'm just uh, putting myself in this hypothetical, you know, situation. Like this hypothetical scenario that more than likely will probably never happen. Um, I do think that if he, cause again, you know, like if he is going up against like a zombie or something, right. And he's got a weapon, he's fine. He's, he's fine. Um, he'd be the one to take out like maybe three at once, probably <laughs> like he, I could see it, you know, I could see it. Uh, but I think, the problem is that if he were to get surrounded and if he got like cornered or something, I could see him either like fighting his way out or he's fucked. Cause I think, you know, if he gets separation, like I like, I love how I'm like running through like every single little detail here. I just think, I don't know. Um, but I think if he, if he gets in trouble, if he finds himself in trouble or something, like say he's stuck between a rock and a hard place, you know, uh, I think he'd be fucked. <laughs> like, um, I think he'd have a, a good chance of surviving, but I think there's also a chance that he might be fucked as well. <laughs> um, uh, I'd say, I don't think he's a 100% guaranteed survivor but I still think he has a good chance of surviving for a while 
Um, so I'm not going to put him in survivor category, but I am going to put him in surviving for two years plus. So yeah, I, I forgot to explain the ranking system. So how the ranking system works is I got four different things here. So I got survivor, which is the highest tier. I got two years plus, which is like a B tier. Um, the first few months, which is a C and then goner. That's like a D F that's the lowest ranking, right? So I'm going to put Kalen in B tier, which is two years plus. So yeah, I got, I got him going, I got him going for a while. All right. Next up on the list, we've got bud. Uh, everyone loves bud and bro. Everyone does. Like, if you don't love Bud, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, literally, what is wrong with you? Um, <laughs> nah, Bud, Bud is a, he's a great guy, fantastic human being all around. <clears throat> Easily one of the nicest guys I have ever met. Um, right up there with Peyton. Uh, just a really nice, well-respected guy. Um, very nice, very well-mannered. And, uh extremely fucking fast he is really really fucking fast um which could benefit because not only is he fast but he's also in great shape as well um so when it comes to the apocalypse i think bud would have a relatively good chance on his own um i think he'd be i'm trying to like god i sound like such a fucking loser right now, but I'm trying to think of like a walking dead character. He would be like, um, cause I, I just, I don't know, like with bud being all nice and all, I just, I can see it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's hard, man. Like I, no, let's just skip. Let's just skip past it. Let's just skip. Let's just skip past it. That part. Um, I got a burp again. It's coming here. There it is. Okay. Um, so with Bud, he's nice, but he's not a pussy either. <laughs> like he's, he, uh, he'll, he'll put up a fight if he has to. Um, and plus, you know, again, he can easily outrun a problem. If he gets into a problem, he can just run away from it because he's fast as fuck. Um, I think he, he could, he can hold his own. I definitely think he could hold his own. Um, would he be a guaranteed survivor though? I don't know. I don't know. I really want to put him in survivor, but I just, I don't, because I feel like he would, he would do a similar thing, you know, he would, he would, because he's so nice, <laughs> like, I feel like he would, um, he would go out and look for anyone he could find, like, he wouldn't really care, he wouldn't really care who it was, maybe he would, if you were shady, he would not, he definitely would not, um, but if he felt like you were nice enough, or, like, trustworthy enough, he would obviously, like, take you in. I don't know. I just, I feel like Bud would be the kind of guy to do that. Um, but I feel like, I feel like if Bud were to die in the apocalypse, I don't think he would get eaten. I don't think he would get bit either. I just, I don't think that would happen. If Bud was to die in the apocalypse, here's the thing. I think Bud is one of like the few people on this list that I have actually like, not being a survivor, but not because of the actual, like, zombies. I think he, he, I think Bud would, like, die trying to help somebody, I think. That's what I think. Like, if he was gonna die because of a zombie, he would die, like, trying to help somebody, I think. And, or, like, maybe he tried to help someone, you know, get off the streets or something, and they, like, tried to rob him, but they, like, accidentally killed him like stab him or something. I don't know. <laughs> like I'm just 
this is a this is such a dumb scenario. Like I'm just literally like coming up with bullshit. <laughs> like, um, but you know, I don't think Bud. I I like I really like Bud, and I hate to do this to him, but I don't think he's a survivor. But I think, you know, with all of his, uh, I think with all of his traits, I say he has a very good chance of making it very far. Um. So because that, I'm going to put him in two years plus with Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Let, who's next? Let's see here. Who do we got next? Who do we got next? Uh, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Oh, boy. Um, can we just put Thomas in Survivor and just move on with it? <clears throat> can we? I actually think Tom would do really well for himself. On his own, I think. Because, uh, dude's fucking jacked. <laughs> He's fucking jacked. Um, not to mention, you know, again, fast as fuck. Um, easily in the top three for the fastest people in the group. Easily. Um, here's the thing, though. <laughs> with, with Tom, uh... Tom wouldn't be the one... I don't think Tom would be the one to go out looking for people. For people. Um, I think Tom would just, like, stick to his guns and just, like, do whatever he had to do to survive. That's that's what I think Tom would do. Um, I think he would just be on his own, you know, just, just out there surviving, you know, getting as much supplies as he can. Um, and if shit goes down, he knows how to handle himself. Um... Very physically, very physically gifted. Uh, he knows how to handle himself. Uh, he he. <laughs> Shit. Um. Yeah, I. I think Tom. Would do very well for himself. I think. Um. Just because I think he would he would stay out of trouble. He wouldn't try to help anybody. He would just kind of stick to himself. And um, if he if he had to help anybody, like, at all, it'd be someone, like, really close, like, family. You know, like, it'd be somewhere around there. But if it was anyone else, I don't think he would really, like... I, I, I just I don't think he would really risk it, you know? Um, yeah, I just... I don't see Tom dying. Like, like the only way I can see Tom possibly dying is if he got shot by like a rival gang, like a rival gang member or something. Like, that's the, literally the only way I could see him dying. Like, I don't see him getting eaten. I don't see anything like that. Um, so, much to probably nobody's surprise, I'm actually gonna put Tom as our first survivor, and otherwise known as A slash S tier <laughs> like oh my god why the fuck do i keep burping that's actually annoying that's actually fucking annoying um but yeah tom is our first survivor all right next up on the list this one's oh boy this one's a doozy um next up on the list we've got evan good old e mandy 17 himself um <laughs> uh god um, where do I start with Evan? How do I think Evan would do on his own? Um, <clears throat> honestly, honestly, um, I, and this, this is not me, uh, talking shit or like trying to slander him in any way. Uh, this is all in good fun. Uh, but I just, I don't think Evan would do very well in the apocalypse. I just, I don't think he would. Um, and here's why. Here's why. Because I can see Evan going out and looking for people. Like, people that he knows. Um, but I feel like if he, I feel like that's the only thing in, that he would do. 
Um, and if he couldn't find anyone, maybe he would look for supplies. But, like, if he couldn't find anything, he would just stay home. And he just wouldn't know what to do. Um, I just... I... I think he's capable of uh, handling himself. I'm not going to sit here and say, Oh, you know, because it's Evan. You know, he's not going to be able to do jack shit. No, I, I can see... I can see Evan... Uh, being able to handle himself a little bit, but I think if anything, and I mean anything, goes wrong, I think he could outrun a problem, but I think if literally anything goes wrong, he's fucked. Like, if he doesn't have a way to get out, he's fucked. Like, um, because, like, I don't know, man. I just, I don't. I don't want to I don't want to slam the guy or anything but again this is all in good fun this is all in good fun um I just I don't think Evan would last very long in the apocalypse I that's just what I think I don't think he would last very long um and so Evan I hate to do this to you man I mean I kind of don't but I kind of do at the same time uh, I'm going to put Evan in goner, which is D slash F tier. So our first goner of uh, of this list is uh, Evan. Oh, boy. Okay, so next up, who do we got next? Who's who's this? Uh, <laughs> um, who do we got next? Next up on this list, we've got Peyton. Now... Here's here's the interesting thing about Peyton, right? So here's a flaw with Peyton that I think would <laughs> in the in the apocalypse, okay? Um I think the one thing that would hold the Peyton back in the apocalypse, if he was by himself, um I think he would he would because he's such a nice he's such a nice well-mannered guy, right? Easily up there with some of the nicest guys that I know. Um, but I think that would also kind of be a little bit of a weakness for him in the apocalypse because I feel like he would... He would... I don't want to say he'd be afraid, but I feel like he would just, like... He wouldn't want to kill zombies, you know? Like, I just... I don't see him being like, all right, I'm going to go take that zombie down or something like this, something like that. Um, I just, um, that's something that I just, I think would be a flaw for him. And I could see it getting in shit. I cannot talk. Uh, I could see that getting him into some trouble. Um, <clears throat> but I think, where he lacks in like the physical prowess, I think he more than makes up for in the intelligence department because Peyton is smart as shit. He really is. He's smart. Um, and I feel like he would rely more on that because I feel like he would go around collecting supplies and, you know, he would just, I think, you know, once, in, once again, he would go around looking for people and if that didn't work, <clears throat> he would uh, just seek shelter I think, or like maybe he would find a place where he could just be alone, you know, and he would just prosper there. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to put Peyton in B. I was thinking about putting him in A, but I, I think I just, I don't see him like being the host, the hostile type to take down a zombie. You know, I just, I don't see it, but uh, I think he would, just based off his intelligence alone, I think he'd be able to survive for a couple of years. That's that's what I think. Okay, so just a quick little recap here. So in A tier, we have Tom. Okay, so let, okay, let me specify. In A tier for on their own, I have Tom. Uh, B tier, I have Kalen, Bud, and Peyton. Uh, C tier, there's nothing yet. And then in D tier slash F tier, we have Evan. Okay, so that leads us to our probably our... I'm not going to spoil it because I already know, I already know what it is. Uh, it's me. Me, Blake. <laughs> uh, 
honestly, as much as I would can very much like to consider putting myself in Goner, I actually think I would make it longer than expected. And here's why. Because I kind of have this plan. It's not a very great plan, but uh, I think, you know, I would probably stay in my house for as long as I had to because, you know, my house already has supplies in it. You know, it's got food and and, uh, weapons if necessary. Um, I think I would turn my house, or I guess it's not really my house. It's my parents' house, but I think I would turn this house uh, into my own little base unless if I like had to move out. Um, or like if I had to like move basically. Um, and I feel like if I went out, I would not do very good. I would not do very good, but I feel like I would only get caught every once in a while. And here's why, because I'm very, very quiet, right? I'm very quiet. And I feel like if I snuck around, I would actually not do very bad for myself because one, I'm quiet. I'm quiet. And two, sorry, I'm like on the verge of fucking vomiting. Like, like gas keeps keeps coming out of my throat. And it's fucking annoying. Uh, but like sneaking around, I'm actually not too bad. And plus, I'm actually a pretty decent hider. Like, hi, yeah, that's wow, great job. That's <laughs> that's a word, hider. Yeah, new new vocabulary word of the day, hider. No, like, but I'm very good at, okay, I'm not very good, but like, I'm, I'm actually not horrible at hiding. Plus, you know, not to mention I'm like five foot nothing. I'm like five, like five, seven, five, six, somewhere around there. Um, I'm small. I'm short. Uh, and I'm also skinny too on top of that. So I'm short and skinny, which means that I can fit into tighter spaces that, some average size people would not normally be able to fit through or like fit in, you know? Um, so I think that would be an advantage for me. Uh, plus I think what I would do is that I would like go around and just collect supplies, you know? And if, uh, I think for the most part, like if I was just by myself, I'd try to like, I would be looking for a group, you know, I'd be hoping and praying to run into a group of people because, Like, I don't think I would get eaten. I think I would get close several times, but I don't think I would get just flat out eaten. Like, if I was going to die in the apocalypse, I feel like I'd get bit. I'd be the guy to get bit on a spot that you couldn't, like, cut off to save from being infected. Like, getting bit on the kneecap, right? Like, or, like, getting bit on, like, the shoulder or something. Um, or, like, on the side. Some, some bullshit like that. Um, I think... Uh, I have a chance for maybe a, a cu- if it's just me, I have a chance for like maybe a couple of months, like maybe a month or two, but that might be it. <laughs> like, uh, so yeah, I'm going to put myself in the first few months. I think that's fair. If I can put an A in without accidentally typing S for whatever reason. Okay. So, God, this is gonna be long. Um, who do we got next? Jaden, <laughs> Jaden, my boy. Um, Jaden, uh, he would just he would do so well on his own, like, and I, and I'm not just saying that because he's my cousin though. Like, I genuinely think he would, like, in terms of everyone, because I think Tom would do well on his own. Um. But I don't think he would thrive, you know? Like, I think he would do well surviving-wise, but I think, you know, obviously everyone would fucking hate it. Um, Even though Tom would be easily more than capable of handling his own, which is one of the main reasons why he's in Survivor. Uh, But I think that uh, in terms of, like, someone who would be like Daryl, for instance, you know? Like, someone who would just be, like, the guy who just would not give a shit and would actually like thrive and would just have a field day is it's a Jaden. It's fucking Jaden because, 
um, Jaden, smart, fast, in shape, um, is more than capable of defending himself and handling himself in physical altercations. You know, like he's just, uh, he's got it all. I mean, fucking, I'm. <laughs> Did I mention the fact that he has a huge cock? <laughs> Oh man, have I not expressed that enough? <clears throat> no, but in all seriousness though, I think Jaden has a lot of tools to uh go far in the apocalypse. And uh I think Oh, this is if he's listening to this, it's gonna make him so happy. I'm putting him up there with Tom, bro. Jaden is a survivor. Easily. Easily. He's up there with Tom as uh the survivors. <clears throat> uh, up next, we got <laughs> we got Jacob um, XX Walker edition <laughs> because there's two there's two Jacobs. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna call because there's two since there's two Jacobs. Uh, I don't want to call them out by their full name. Uh, that's that's the line I draw. Um, so I'm just gonna call them by their uh. The two Jacobs by their their usernames. So the one I'm thinking of is XX Walker. Um, honestly, I think XX Walker. <laughs> it's so fucking weird, just using his username. Um, XX Walker. I feel like he would ha- he would have a good idea. I feel like um, I think he can handle himself. Um. Here's the thing, though. Okay. Um, so, I feel like... I feel like XX Walker slash Jacob... I'm just going to call him Jacob because calling him XX Walker is just stupid to me. Um, I feel like the thing with Jacob is that I feel like he would do... Maybe not as well, but I feel like he would do better in a group versus alone. Because I feel like if he was alone... He would he would spend most of the time not wanting to be alone, if that makes sense. Uh, which I mean, that's not like a bad thing to do. I mean, you know, in hindsight, that's like the most realistic thing you could do. I mean, you know, kind of like me. Like I said, I would, I said I would uh, go around and uh, you know just try to look for a group of people, you know, look for any, anybody, basically. Um, I feel like he would do that, and if he couldn't find that, anybody, he would just kind of, like, uh, I don't know, I feel like he would stay at his place, but at the same time, I'm not sure, because I feel like he, (laughs) I don't know. Um, I was, I was originally thinking about putting Jacob and Goner, but uh um I don't know. I don't know if he's like a total goner. I I don't know if I'd say he's a total goner. Um I just think he would do better in a group. I just think he would do a lot better in a group and uh plus I don't I just don't I don't I don't think he would last long on his own. That's that's just what I think. Um so you know what, uh, Jacob, no hard feelings, dude. No hard feelings at all. I swear there's not. But uh, I'm going to have to put you in Goner because <laughs> I just I feel like he would do better in a group. You know, that's just my opinion. Plus, I feel like he would he would be the one to, like, form his own little, like, militia. <laughs> like, you know, like, he'd, he'd be the guy to, like, form his own little group, like, He'd be the leader of his own like little group that he made himself. Um, I don't know. I can just I can see that up a little bit. Let's let's uh, do a little bit of a lightning round. This is that means this is totally not going to go fast at all. It's probably going to stay the same speed more than likely. Uh, let's do Caleb and Lane. Um, obviously, you guys know Caleb and Lane by now. At this point, I've mentioned them like several times on the channel. Uh, but how would these guys do? Okay, let's start off with Caleb first. Uh, Caleb, granted, he's athletic, and uh, 
he has bulked up quite a bit in these past couple of years because uh, he just he goes to the gym like consistently. So he's in shape. Um, both of them are in in shape at the moment. Uh, here's the thing though. I I talked. I actually talked to Caleb about this uh, scenario actually like a little bit ago. And uh, he flat out said, like, if this actually happened, he'd just end it all. Like, he didn't, he doesn't even want to deal with it. Like, he'd, he'd just end it all right then and there. Um, but I'm not going to use that scenario. No, I'm using a scenario where he actually, like, tries to survive. So let's use that one, actually. Let's, let's use that one. Um, <clears throat> he can definitely handle himself. Um, I just don't know if he would, though. I, I mean, I don't, I think he would. Only if he had to. Only if he had to. But if he knew he didn't have to, he would just try to avoid doing that like at all costs. Which uh, is not a horrible idea, I guess. Um, but I feel like Caleb would, you know, he would only look for like close people, you know. He'd, he'd only look for people that he wouldn't really consider a burden. So like, uh, you know, just people that he's like really, really close with. Uh, and if he couldn't find them, he would just skip town and go to like a even smaller town. Cause this town's small enough as it is, but like he'd probably go to like a smaller town. And he'd probably just live there. Probably. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I could see him being the, the guy that, uh, dies solely because of the fact that he is on the highway and he crashes into a zombie when he's not paying attention and he just fucking runs off the road. Um, I could see that. So, you know what? I don't think... Caleb is not a goner by any means. In this scenario, he's not. In the scenario that I'm using, he's not a goner. Um, but I don't think he would last very long. I just, I don't think he would last super long. So I'm gonna put him in the same column as me here. And I'm gonna say the first few months. So, C, basically. And, uh... Now we got Lane. Honestly, didn't my cat knock something over in the kitchen? Uh, but no, honestly, I don't think Lane would do that bad on his own. And here's why. Here's why. Because I feel like Lane would have the right idea. Because he's a farmer, right? I feel like Lane would have the idea. Maybe he wouldn't. But I think he would have the idea. Here, This is what I would like to think he would do. Um, I feel like Lane would take shelter on the farm. And that would become like his little base and he would just like live there. Because think about it. Living on a farm in the apocalypse is low-key a great idea because you don't have to go out for food. You can just grow your own food. I mean, granted, you need seeds and all that, but, like, you can you can make, like, your own gardens and shit like that. That's how farming works, right? Probably not. I've ne- I'm not a farmer. Can you tell I'm not a farmer? <laughs> um, but, no, like, you could... You have, like, your own food and shit. Like, you can grow your own food and shit. Um... So yeah, that's a bonus. Um, plus, you know, if there's zombies that get onto your land, you can always get in the tractor, and you can just run over zombies with your tractor, and that becomes like your tractor becomes your zombie killing thing. When you're uh, out of, and when you're out of gas, you can hide in there, I guess. <laughs> but like, you can also hide in the barn. Whatever. Point is, is that I think Lane, Lane would only go out if he had to I think because I think he would just seclude himself on his farm and he would only go out if like he was low on supplies or something like that you know and I think because he's he's tall and he's very lengthy which could be an advantage but it also could be a disadvantage as well because you're tall which makes you a target which makes it easier to grab because you're you got long limbs so you're you're easier to grab 
uh, you're it's easy for a zombie to grab you when you're long and lengthy, right? And so, I don't know. I just I feel like if Lane was going to die in the apocalypse, he would die, like he would get snuck up on, right? Because I don't know. I just sometimes he's not like the most aware person, um, but it's Lane, you know, Lane can, Lane can do no wrong, <laughs> Lane's a good guy, um, I think I'm going to put Lane in two years plus, so I'm going to put Lane in B tier, because I just see him living for a while if he does that, you know, because, I don't know, I, just, I feel like he would live, he would live for a while if he did that. Um, next up, Andrew, aka Owls Dragons. You guys know who that is. He's the most famous YouTuber of them all, Owls Dragons. <laughs> my my buddy Andrew. Um I originally had him not doing very well on his own. But uh after thinking about it, I think he would do okay. I think he would do okay. I don't think he would last very long. But I think he would last long enough to be like he would survive long enough to at least like find a place to stay for a little bit you know um other than that you know I feel like he would just skip town you know like he wouldn't try to find anybody he he'd just be like fuck y'all I'm leaving and then he would just like he'd just he'd go you know like he wouldn't care where he was going he'd just go um as for how I think he would, like, die in the apocalypse, I don't fucking know. Because I feel like Andrew would just be the guy, you know, to just drive away and just, like, you never know what happens to him. You just, you never see him again. So his fate is unknown. Um, I'm going to put Andrew in the first few months with me and Caleb. <laughs> um... All right, final three. Let's just get these three out of the way. Uh, Avery, I'm not sure Christopher. Um, he would, he he's a goner. I'm sorry, but he's a fucking goner. Um, he'd probably be one of the first few to die, more than likely. So I'm just gonna put Avery and Connor. Uh, Jacob, aka cool little dude. Um, on his own. On his own, I think. I think cool little dude would be fine. I just don't think he would like give a shit. <laughs> like he'd just do whatever. Like he wouldn't care. Um and I think if he did that for like years on end, I think he'd be he'd be fine. So I'm just gonna put uh cool little dude Jacob in a B tier, two years plus. Um and then lastly we got Josh. Josh is a very smart guy, very smart. Um. Yeah, I think he, Josh would survive very long, just solely based off his intelligence. Um, not the most athletic guy in the world, but he ma- he more than makes up for that with his uh, intelligence. And so I think he would find ways, like unique ways, to survive that like some people would not come up with or something. You know, like <laughs> I just I I can't come up with any thing but I know he's smart so I'm sure he'd figure something out but um I don't know I don't think he would be a survivor would he though I don't know I'm gonna put him in two years plus with everyone else so uh I think that wraps up everybody for on their own so for on their own you have in A tier just Tom and Jaden uh in B tier you have Kalen, Bud, Peyton, Lane, Jacob and Josh uh, in C tier, you have me, Caleb, and Andrew. And then guaranteed goners are Evan, Jacob, and Avery. So yeah, that's that. Well, on to the second section. Uh, with the group. How would you survive with the group? Now, this is where things get a little interesting. Because some people who are ranked lower will be ranked a little more higher. And some people will stay the same. As uh, as exampled by 
our first up, we have Andrew <laughs> again. Um, how would Andrew do in a group? I think Andrew would do a lot better in a group. Um, I think he has a much better chance at surviving with a group versus by himself. Because uh, I, I just think, like, in, in the apocalypse, if you're in a group, your chances of survival immediately, they just automatically, like, go up, like, 5-10%. Um, I could see Andrew being, like, I don't know if he'd be, like, the supply runner or anything like that, but I could definitely see him, like, being a lookout or, like, you know, being one of the guys that goes out and kills, like, zombies to make a path. Um... But I think, you know, if the group gets separated, I, I just, I like, if something happens to the group and they get separated, I just, I don't think he would last very long. Um, but I think he would last longer with a group than if he was just by himself. But I'm still going to put him in C. And I think he can agree with that as well. I think that's fair. Um... Let's see here. Uh, next up, we have... Uh, let's see here. Who do we got next? <laughs> um, cool little dude. Jacob, cool little dude. Um, hmm. This one's tough. If Jacob's with... If, if, cool little, if Jacob, cool little dude <laughs> is in a group, I feel like he would do good. Because he would definitely be a supply runner. For sure. Um, he'd be the guy to fit into like the tight spaces. Uh, would he be a guaranteed survivor, though? I feel like if he didn't do anything stupid, he might. If he was smart about what he did, um, which I would like to think that he would, I think he would be just fine, I think. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I don't know if he's a guaranteed survivor, but he's definitely up there for sure. I'll put him in the same thing, you know, two years plus. Um, I think he's got a good chance. I'll put him on top of... Do I want to put him on top of two years plus? Or do I want to put him in the at the bottom of survivor? I'll put him at the bottom of survivor because I can see him surviving if he's with a... If he's with the group. I'll just do that real quick. And then next up we've got... Uh, next up we've got... Who the fuck do we got next? We've got... Kalen, Thomas, and Jaden. Let's just do that real quick. Uh, Kalen... If, if Kalen's in a group... If Kalen is in a group he would survive for a very long time, but I feel like he'd be the heavy of the group and the heavy of the group tends to die, uh, is usually the first, not, okay, not the first, but like they're, they usually don't make it. The heavies don't cause they're just like all muscle and like, you know, they just, they just, they, they have the tendency to die like very quickly. I don't think he would die very quickly though. I think he would be the guy to come in clutch <laughs> with like a weapon or something. Like he'd definitely be, one of the guys to go out there and like clear a path with like a group of people, like a smaller group of people. Um, I'm going to put Kalen in B tier. Two years plus. I'm going to put him in that. Uh, Thomas. Thomas is just going to survive like the whole apocalypse. Like, um, yeah, he's just going to survive like the whole thing. And, you can't convince me otherwise because the dude is just like a natural born survivor. Like, how could he not survive? Unless if he was just an idiot, which he's not. <laughs> like, he's prepared for it. Like, he's 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 a survivor. I'm going to put Tom in survivor. Easy decision. Just like how it was last time. Uh, same thing with Jaden. Um, although, hmm... Would Jaden do well with the group? I think he would. But I think he... Hmm. That's... I'm trying to think now. Because I think he would do equally well with both. But I think he would do better... Just like a tad bit better like on his own. 
But I think him with a group, he'd it'd be less likely for him to go fucking insane. Um God, like I don't Yeah, yeah. He's still got the same characteristics as he would alone. He's just with a group now. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. I'll put him. <laughs> After much consideration, I'll put Jaden in Survivor. Because why not? Um, Me. Myself. Now, here's one that we actually have ranking up. I know Jacob, cool little dude, he ranked up. Um, But not by much. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, me with a group, I think I have a much better chance at surviving with a group versus not. Just because I I th- like to think that I actually work better with people. Um, I like working in groups of people versus by myself. I just find that to be more comfortable. And so I think, you know, if I was with a group, I would have a better chance at surviving. I don't think I would survive, but I think I would survive much longer. Um, like if my group slowly started to die off, I feel like I'd be like one of the last like four to die or something like that. Um, I'll put myself in two years plus with a group. So I'm joining Kalen <laughs> in two years plus. Um, Lane. Did I put Lane in Survivor or did I put him in two years plus? I, I put him in two years plus last time. Uh, Lane, if Lane is in a group, he's he's surviving because he can provide a lot for a group. Uh, he would be the he wouldn't leave anybody behind. I wouldn't leave anyone behind either. Um, or at least I would sure as fuck like try not to. Um, but I feel like I feel like Lane would not leave anyone behind. Um, I feel like he'd be there for people. I f- I feel like um. Plus, again, you know, he'd be the guy that they'd send out to, like, come in clutch, basically. Um, plus, he's a farmer, and farmers tend to last pretty long in the apocalypse. So I'm going to put Lane in Survivor, shockingly. Um, let's see here. Evan. <laughs> um, I think Evan would last a couple months with a group, but he would not last very long just because I think he would get left be- <laughs> I think he would get left like he would do something to piss everyone off and he would just get like left behind or something um Avery Avery is same thing although I feel like Avery would be the one to like leave people behind like if he like he wouldn't even try to save anyone he would just be like fuck you like he just he just leave um I'll put Avery in the first few months uh, two year. Uh, well, I just spoiled it. Jacob, uh, XX Walker. Um, I feel like he, you know, I already said it. He'd do much better in a group. He'd probably be a leader of his own little group. In all honesty, and I feel like just because of that alone, I feel like he has a much better chance at surviving, like maybe a year or two. Um, if he stays out of trouble, because if he st- if he gets himself into trouble, like I said, he's fucked. Um. So, I'm actually going to put Jacob in two years plus for in a group. Um, let's see here. Who else do we got? Caleb. <clears throat> Caleb would definitely do way better with a group. He would do so much better. Um, and, uh... You know, he can, he can provide, he's good at being, providing shit, um, he's good at being there for people, sometimes, (laughs) sometimes, (laughs) um, I feel like, or Jacob, Jesus Christ, uh, I feel like Caleb would be the guy, if he knew he could save you, he would go and save you, but if he knew he couldn't, he would just say, yeah, fuck it, you know, like, he just... If he knew there was nothing he could do, he would leave you. But, like, if he knew he could save you, he would, I think. That, at least I would hope. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd, I'd give Caleb two years plus uh, if he's a, if he's with a group. Um, 
Jesus, we're like flying. We're flying through everybody. Uh, Josh and Peyton. Josh and Peyton, they're both smart, and I feel like if they're both with the group, let alone in the same group, which would be funny, um, they're survivors because they're both smart as fuck. Again, they're... I Well, I think Josh is more <laughs> physical than, uh, than Peyton is, definitely, but... Um, I think they'd just both be, like, the smart guys in the group, you know? Like, they'd come up with plans and shit. Um, and then lastly, I think, I think, lastly, we got Bud. I think. Is that everybody? Well, anyway, Bud. Bud is also a guaranteed survivor, in my opinion. Because, again, great guy. Very nice. And, uh, he would make sure everyone is safe. He'd, like... He'd always go back for people, you know, make sure everyone is alive and safe. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, like there's, that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, I think Bud is a survivor. Is that everybody? Buddy. Okay, well, uh, no goners, which is shocking because I wanted to put Evan in goner, but, uh, I honestly think he would do much better. That's, that's what I think. Um, but yeah. That's I just did this for fun. This is all fun and games. Um I'm very interested to see the response I get from this. I'm very interested uh because you know, at the end of the day, I'm just having fun. You know, this was this was just like me just fucking around basically <laughs> out of boredom because I didn't have any other ideas for a podcast episode other than this. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Goodbye.